Okay, I got my sprayer and Tyson mortar here. I'm gonna tear it apart and rebuild it. So the first thing that needs to come off uh, on this one, the clutch is already off. So I think I'll take the shroud off next. And I just need a 10, mill 10 millimeter socket and there's five bolts. This just lift off there. I think next I'd like to take, I guess it doesn't matter, but I'll take, take this off maybe. So I need a 24 millimeter socket for that nut. I'm going to try and do it without holding anything here and just see if it comes off. <laughs> Next, I need a puller, so I'll pull these. I think these are 12 mil socket on those and uh, hook up a puller. The bolts are a little long, but I don't want to turn them all the way in because I could uh, run into the components behind the flywheel there, your coils and stuff. I'll just try and get that square and then drive my bolt in. Yeah, it's a good idea to have grease on the threads of a puller. Okay, next I can take the stator off. For that, I'm gonna to wanna to make a mark between the case and the stator, just for alignment purposes later. I don't know if I'll use this stator, but just in case I do, I can put it back in the same spot. So just with a cold chisel. Just so I got a mark in both that I can line up later. And then to undo the fasteners, I don't even think I'll attempt it doing uh, this impact driver it just they tend to be frozen in there so I'll just start with this that one came loose oh this one I don't know if we can get at it let's see that one's in a bad spot couldn't get very square on that with the impact driver, so we'll just try this big screwdriver and see how we do. Oh, I think we did loosen it. Okay, there we go. This should squeeze out of there. And it's just a matter of popping this grommet out. Just gonna put some spray on there to make it a little easier. Driver to kind of guide the flange of this grommet in there. We usually have to feed these wires a couple in at a time before it all comes out, but now that's separate. I think we can take our intake off now. 12 mil for these two. That's the car boot portion. This should just pry off of here. Oh, I'm kind of stuck. take this off the plate after. I'll take this other 12 mil down here off. And this whole assembly should come off. There's a gasket here. And let's, oh, there we go. Frozen on there. No ring there. No, it's just part of the part of the boot. So 
Put that guy aside. And just throw this guy back in here for now. And then we got six. I need a 10 mil socket. Gaskets. Same deal on the exhaust side. Some gaskets. This side looks darker than this. More carbon or something. Spark plug there. Just hand tight, so we'll take those guys off. And I'm pretty sure these are 12 mil up top. The heads can come off. Gaskets are going to come off right now or not. Might just leave them. Pull the jugs off. Take a look. It actually looks really good. So that's sweet. Might need a little persuasion. Good, maybe not as good as the other side. We'll see. And I'll get a clip for those piston rings. Okay, for these pistons, I'm just gonna grab this ring here, kind of coax it out. I won't reuse those, I'm not too worried about it. And I'll just uh, Drive this wrist pin out. Take a punch. Clear enough. <coughs> Keep that as a okay. Same thing on this side. Okay, this motor mount plate is 17 mil socket. These four bolts. I'm pretty sure these are all 12 for the crankcase halves. Almost forgot to them. <clears throat> Would have given me trouble. Okay. Now I'm just going to go around and wrap on these tabs here with a bit of uh, old slider. Seems to be dampening too much. Let me see if I use a punch. It's coming loose now. There we go. surfaces look okay so that's nice crank looks 
decent. And they feel good there. That's nice. But yeah, I'd say that these... It was time for a change, I think, on these oil seals, so, or these crankshaft seals, so I think it was a good thing. And there's some schmutz in the bottom here, so I think we'll be glad that we clean this up. So that's the next step. I'll clean up everything and then uh, get a gasket kit and come back and uh, put it back together.